to be the baby face assassin, but we saw angry Steph tonight. How did you do it with 39, eight and eight from 20 down to win a game the Warriors had to have, Steph? We saw it on your face in the first half, and you put the team on your shoulders in the second half. I mean, we know what time, time of the season it is, and we faced a lot of adversity all year, and even in this first half, it was kind of like nothing going your way and some self-inflicted wounds. So the one thing that we have in you know, Draymond's fire in the first half is the ultimate you know, testament and, and visual of what it is, is we have a competitive spirit that is unmatched, um, and it's been that way for a decade. So for us to tap into that, we understand that we have to, you know, we got to play better, more consistent. We're figuring out our rotations and stuff, but that belief and that killer instinct, three guys standing on this court, myself, Draymond, Clay, we've, we've done it. We know it. And then, you know, our guys are starting to figure it out. So JP played amazing in the second half, made some big plays. JK made, played amazing. Loon, amazing offensive rebounds to get us extra possessions. Uh, Dante, you know, for start of the third quarter, got us back in it. So everybody contributed, but our competitive spirit got us to win. Talk to me about your defense, Steph, especially in that second half. It was devastatingly good. You were making multiple efforts, moving your feet. You made C.J. McCollum have a tough time. Draymond with the energy. Everybody was so locked in, moving on a string there, getting stops at key times in the game. You understand that's how you win. Uh, I think in the first half it was turnovers that led to transition uh, buckets for them. I think they had 20 in the first half. Our, our half-court defense was amazing. We just kept turning the ball over, and they were getting easy buckets. So for us to, you know, get good possessions on offense, we always talk about connecting the game. Our defense in the half court and, and the entire second half was was amazing. You know, Brandon Ingram's a, a great scorer. He can make some tough shots, but you just got to continue to make him work, and everybody was locked in. Steph, 12 double-digit comebacks here at Chase Center. You were exhorting the crowd at the very end. What is it about Dub Nation, this building, and you guys that they down 20, most teams it's Tap City, and yet is a belief system here. Is it just the championship DNA or is it the relationship with the fans? I mean, uh, let's not forget the origins of this franchise on the other side of the bridge and uh, what we built in Oracle in terms of our fans really giving us that lift and that that juice and that passion. Um, we might not have been great up until 2014, but you know that energy was always there. And then you add that on top of the championships and everything that we've accomplished. Like I said, that's just a belief. And uh, for us to keep you know, going toe to toe with whoever comes into this building and uh, never feel like we're out of it, it uh, it'll carry us a long way. How confident are you guys in your ability to close out teams in the fourth? You guys did a great job tonight in the fourth quarter when you went out of the game. Jordan Poole and Kaminga were working, came back in, were doing work. So you've shown that you can close out games. And when you guys were at your best, you were closing out games with the best of them. Difference uh, 48 hours makes, right? <laughs> yeah. It's just a matter of uh, just locking in and focusing mentally on what we need to do. Um, and, you know, have a next play mentality. A lot of guys, a lot of teams would, you know, still be thinking about, uh, you know, that Minnesota game and the things that went, went wrong. But we... Uh, we gave ourselves a chance in that third quarter. We fought our way back to four down, or down four at the end of the third quarter. And then from there, it's just a momentum game, and we uh, we took advantage of it. All right, well, at 35 years of age, you officially have old man strength. <laughs> so you could tell Cannon, just like Dell used to tell you, bow your neck, baby. Bow your neck, I love that. We gotta send that clip to him. Yeah, but that's carrying all them kids around, so I got a little, <laughs> little upper body strength from this, for sure. Hey, thanks for stopping. Thanks for getting the dub, and you get two days off for the first time since the All-Star break. Enjoy it. Good work, Yes, brother. sir, appreciate it. All sir. right, that is Wardell Stephen Curry at age 30. 35 you're supposed to slow down except when you're superhuman and that guy never slows down